let's look at this question uh, yeah you have got three graphs this line this line is y is equal to 8x this line is y is equal to px and this line is y is equal to x to the power minus 2 and you want to find the area this shaded area so let's read the question find an expression in terms of p for the area bounded by y is equal to 8x so this is the line y is equal to 8x the this line is called y is px and this is y is equal to x to the power negative 2 where p is a constant between 0 to between 0 and 8 so that's not that important give your result of of any integration needed to solve this problem now this question i have taken from uh, nce exam 2010 of level 3 maths with calculus okay now before we find uh, the area let's find the points of intersection so this is very clear this point is crucial this point is 0 0 which is the origin now this point is so let us find this point so here this point is the point of intersection of this y is equal to 8x and y is equal to so let me do the working here so you can say y is equal to 8x so you got this equation and this equation is y is equal to uh, 1 over x squared i hope you understand that this is nothing but 1 over x squared now this point is a point of intersection so let me name that as say a and this is say origin o and this is a b that will be helpful for me later so i can equate 8x is equal to 1 over x squared so cross multiplying or multiplying both sides by x squared i can say 8x cube is equal to 1 which implies x cube is 1 over 8 so x is half okay because uh, the cube of one half is one eighth so it can be negative but I'm taking only the no sorry it can't it it has three roots but we are only interested in the positive root here okay we are not going into the complex roots here so yeah this point is the x coordinate is half okay and if you put half into this equation eight times half is four so this point is half comma 4 now you can do this very easily on a calculator so this is graph it's always good to know how to do it so this is 8x and uh, 1 or you can type in also x raised to negative half negative 2 uh, so you want only the positive so let me go from 0 to 6 uh, and on y I'll go from 0 to 10 and this is your graph so this is a point of intersection so g sol and intersection that is half and four okay so this point is half half comma four this point is the intersection of one over x squared and p of x so i'll do the working here so you got y is equal to y is equal to one over x squared and you got y is equal to p of p x so i can equate this to which implies 1 over x squared is equal to px so i can say 1 is equal to px cube okay so this is therefore i can say x cube is 1 over p so x is cube root of 1 over p which is same as p to the power negative one third so this point is the x coordinate is p to the power negative one third so if you put uh, your x value or x is p one third in this equation you can put in either one so we know y is px i'm going to put p as one third or negative one third so that is p times p raised to negative one third which is p to the power one times p to the power negative one third so your y coordinate is p to the power two thirds okay so here the x coordinate is 
p to the power negative one third and your y coordinate is p to the power two thirds. Okay. Now, so that's done. Now you want to find the area and this shaded area. So I'm going to split this in three or two parts basically. So this is one part. This is the second part. Okay, so I can say this is nothing but half and this is p to the power negative one third. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first find the area I'm going to first find let me do use a different color I'm going to find this area this total area okay I'm going to call that uh, say I'm going to call this area as a1 okay from that a I'll first that first find that area and then I'll find this area this green area and this green area I'll call this A2 okay now if you if you add these two areas okay if you add these two areas you have got this this green area this part this part and this part I want to delete it okay so and what I'm going to do is I'll use which color this color so I'm going to use so this part this triangle okay this triangle is so let me name these letters different letters so this is o a b uh, o a b c this is point c and this is point d so what i'm saying is this triangle o b c is the area that i want to delete so from the brown area in the brown area you have this uh, area added so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a1 and a2 and then I'm going to take away the area of triangle o o b c so let me write that so let me write in so the required area you need to understand the maths behind it required area is a1 plus a2 a1 plus A2 will give me this area and this area. From that, I'm, if I take away triangle, uh, area of triangle OBC, which is a right angle triangle, that will give me the shaded area. Okay. So first, to find A1, A1, to find the area of A1 is integration of uh, this, it is the area under this curl. A1 is the area under the curve of the function y is equal to x to the power negative 2, where the lower bound is half and the upper bound is p to the power negative 1 third. So, I'll do like this. A1 is integration from half to p to the power negative 1 third of x to the power negative 2 dx. I hope you understand how to find area under the curve. Basically, what we are doing is, let me delete this. You need to understand the maths behind integration. Okay. You can remember formulas, but that's not going to help you. So, what we are doing is, uh, we are finding, uh, let me make a small rectangle to explain integration. The, the beauty of integration is, if you understand, Suppose you imagine this is a small slit, okay, infinitesimally small, where the width is dx. Your width of the slit, which is infinitesimal, infinitesimally thin, is dy. Your width is dy. And your height is y. Your height is y. And you, you are adding all these infinitesimally thin slits from half to p to the power negative one third will give you the total area under this curve okay so this is the infinitesimally small thin slit okay i spoiled the whole thing so i hope you see this okay so this will be that's what dx is the dx is the width and x to the power negative so this is your width you should understand this is your width of the slit and this is the height of the slit 
So basically it is nothing but area of a rectangle. And you're adding all the rectangles, infinitus or infinite rectangles from, uh, you can say, D to C. Okay, that's what integration does. So A1 is this, so this is, so when you integrate x to the power negative half, you get x to the power negative 1 over negative 1. Uh, your lower bound is half to t to the power negative 1 third, which is equal to nothing but minus 1 over x half to p to the power negative 1 third. So I want, I'll substitute this first and then take away half. So this is nothing but negative 1 over p to the power negative 1 third minus, you got again a minus, a minus 1 over 1 half. Okay, so this becomes a bit messy. So this is 1 over p to the power, power negative half is nothing but minus p to the power 1 third and this negative and negative will become plus and 1 divided by half is nothing but 2. Therefore, I can say a1 is 2 minus p to the power 1 third which is nothing but 2 minus cube root of p. Okay, so this is your a1. Okay, now what is a2? A2 is nothing but the rectangle. This is a rectangle OAD. OAD where the base is half and the height is 4. So this is your height which is 4. Okay, so A2, I'll write like this. Let me change color. A2 is nothing but area of triangle. What is the triangle? O, OAD area of triangle O A D which is half times base which is half times height which is four which is one quarter times four which is one so A2 is one unit okay now A3 is again an a, a rectangle A3 this is your A or triangle or I didn't say A3 it is triangle O BC, which is again a right angle triangle, doesn't matter. So this is your your height of this is p to the power two thirds. Your base is p to the power negative one thirds. So change of color, area of triangle OBC triangle OBC. This we're talking about this triangle OBC. OBC, where your base is p to the power negative one third and your height is p to the power two thirds. So which is half times base is p to the power negative one third and your height is p to the power two thirds, which is half times p to the power one thirds, which is half cube root of p. Okay, therefore the shaded area or the required area required shaded area is 2 minus cube root of p that is a1 or let me write a1 plus a2 minus area of triangle obc so which is 2 minus cube root of p plus 1 minus, uh, what did I do here? Oh, uh, I should have changed. Why did I write one third here? I don't know. So, oh yeah, it's one half, sorry. It's one half. One half times, this is nothing but cube root of P. So, minus half, minus half, cube root of so 2 minus 1 is, sorry, 2 plus 1 is 3, so which is 3 minus cube root of P minus half cube root of P. So this is minus 1 cube root of P minus, so this is 1 and 1 third. So this is 3 minus 1 and 1 third cube root of P is the 
on so the area of the one and one third one minus one third is one and one third cube root of p i got the answer i'm just got to check yeah that's right so the answer the required area is three minus three over two oh i've done a mistake i think so uh this is one half yes that's what i was struggling this is one half it's good to check the answer this is one minus one half is three halves oh. this is one cube root of p minus half cube root of p so this is two halves minus one halves which is three halves so that is three minus three halves cube root of p